am Amanda Honig and this is your EMC minute -ish. I'm going to show you a demo of Enterprise Keyboard if you haven't seen it before. I'm doing this demo on my TC70 KitKat device, uh, but you can run it on a number of other products and I will uh, give you a listing of those throughout the video. So let's get started. So I'm running this demo on a TC70 KitKat unit. So I had to download the application from zebra.com support site. It wasn't uh, in the BSP. So once I downloaded it, I'll go into settings and then you go into language and input. Let me move that closer. You go into language and input and then you select enterprise keyboard. And that's what now makes the enterprise keyboard your default, default keyboard. So now if I open up an application that requires the keyboard, you see this new um, layout comes out, which is much different than the standard Android uh, keypad layout. You can see also it has contrasting colors, so you can you know, more easily see the keys that you're trying to hit. Um, we did that on purpose. And the reason that we came out with an enterprise keyboard is because we saw that consumer keyboards don't really meet the requirements of an enterprise user. So uh, what we mean by that here, you can see um, here at the top it looks like there is different layouts that's because there are so I can easily slide through to different keyboard layouts if I need to just enter numbers I can get this version that has much bigger um, number buttons or if I have to switch now back to QWERTY keyboard I can do that very easily and then um, if I wanted to have just the um, special characters now I have a layout that's just those characters so they're not all smushed together in one layout, which can be um, difficult to type. You might end up hitting the wrong key. And then also um, we have uh, gesturing that you can use that also makes the input uh, much faster. So let's say I go to type my email address here. And hopefully you can see that I've got my name there. And now I have to put the at sign. So instead of just uh, having to hit shift and go to that at symbol, I can use gestures. You see I flick there and that's the special character just popped up. So I can try it again too so you can see here at the top now I'm gesturing and I'm putting numbers in. Which is a great feature because it cuts down the time, it cuts down the steps that these workers need to go through to type in information. Or like I said before you could go straight to the numeric layout and start typing in numbers or go right into the character keys and start typing in different characters as well. The other feature on here, you can see this barcode symbol, that's because you can also scan in your information. So if I go into the next line, let's say um, I had information in the barcode, I can scan it, and now that input went right through there. So it took out the need for me to have to type anything in. Um, or if you, know, you go to a different step in the task and that there's the need to scan something, you can go right into the scan application and start scanning without having to move in and out of applications. So it's a really great um, keyboard to help in those um, enterprise types of functions. Other cool thing that you can't actually see but you have the capability is that you can create custom dictionaries. So if there's common terminology that's used um, for a particular work task or a particular company, you can program those words in so now you have those um, to just auto fill in uh, the content that you need to put into those pieces. So that is Enterprise Keyboard. Um, it is, like I said, available here on the TC70 with KitKat. Um, other KitKat devices, the MC40 and the TC75, you can uh, load it onto the device. It's not built into the OS. Um, and you can get that right through when you go to um, the Support Center site on zebra.com. Our Lollipop devices right out of the box, uh, MC40, TC70, TC75, and the ET50, you can, um, the Lollipop versions have it right out of the box, so that means that when you go in and you get your device that is Lollipop, you should just go into settings and go right into language and input, and the keyboard should be there for you to be able to select. And we also have it on our Marshmallow products, so TC51, TC56, the TC70X and the TC75X also have um, enterprise keyboard out of the box in the, in the operating system. So that was your enterprise keyboard demo. Thanks for tuning in.